Hey there, e-learning enthusiasts! Welcome to Good Morning e-learning, the show that brings you the most recent news and trends in the world of instructional design and e-learning. I'm your host, Alex Sovereign, and this is my assistant, Eddie, an inspiring instructional designer. Let's dive into today's exciting headlines. Kicking things off, we've got a big shout out to Kara North for her incredible book launch. Learning Experience Design Essentials hit shelves July 11th and it's already making waves in the e-learning community. Hey, did you know that Kara Instructional Designer's frustration with Eddie was one of the reasons she wrote her book? Really? People are frustrated with me? I'm not even an instructional designer yet. No, Eddie, I mean, you have your moments, but Kira meant Eddie, an acronym for Analysis, Design, Development, Implementation, and Evaluation. Kira says that Eddie makes instructional design seem simple, but when it comes to real projects, it's not much of a help. So, she wrote a book that guides you through the real process of launching an e-learning experience with all its complexity and nuances. If you're looking for the great guide, grab a copy and buckle up. Moving on, AI is taking the e-learning world by a storm. First up, Sabrina Gonzalez made a video on how you can generate stunning e-learning graphics with AI. Say goodbye to endless hours of designing and hello to the future of effortless visual creation. Hey Eddie, have you tried generating images with AI? How did that go? Well, yeah, but I don't think I got it right. What do you mean? I was working on a course sample for my portfolio, and I wrote the prompt the perfect space for a cat. And here's what AI generated. Well, I suppose it is space. There were some other options. Well, it can do better than that. Watch Sabrina's video to get a step-by-step -step walkthrough with tips on creating effective prompts. Next up, instructional designers are teaming up with ChatGPT, an AI language model to accelerate the process of creating a course outline and a script. Watch Devlin Peck's insightful video to discover how you can harness the potential of ChatGPT for your instructional design needs. But wait, there is more. If you spent hours creating PowerPoint slides, here is great news. ChatGPT is here to save the day. Josh Cavalier shared a few techniques for building PowerPoint slides with AI. Spoiler alert, you'll save tons of time and the output looks pretty good. Next, we've got some exciting AI news from the UK. Greg Dietra and Georgina are working on an idea to allow people to practice tricky, anxiety-inducing work scenarios in a safe and judgment-free environment by role-playing with ChatGPT. Ed and I have already tested the better version and loved it. Check it out and share your feedback so Greg and Georgina can further improve this fantastic tool. Eddie, what's wrong, bud? I don't know. It's just that all this AI thing made me feel like someday people won't use me in their courses. Why would you need me when you can have AI create any Eddie you want in a minute? Oh, Eddie, don't you worry about it. Do you know how long it takes to develop a decent prompt to create an incredible guy just like you? We can change your clothes, special features, haircut, and everything else. And you'll look exactly how people want you to every time. With AI, you'd spend hours in that. Really? Sure, come on, the next news will cheer you up. If you're like Eddie, Aspiring to be an instructional designer, today is your lucky day. Luke Hobson wrote a massive 108-page blog post where he included what seems like all the essential info aspiring IDs need, from methods and strategies to evaluation methods and technologies. And there are dozens of links inside so that you can dive deeper into the topics. Wow, 108 pages. I know, right? Do you think someone did more than that? More than 108 pages? Yeah. No. Are you sure? No. I mean, 108 pages is a lot. Why would someone stay in all summer and write about comics instead of reading them on the beach? Kevin Thorne published a 161-page study 
increasing retention and knowledge transfer through digital storytelling and the comics medium. It's an eye-opening research on one of the most exciting topics in content creation. You won't want to miss this. 161 pages. Do I really need to read them all to get an instructional designer job? Well, I don't know, maybe not. Let's see, imagine you landed a job interview, what questions will you ask a hiring manager? Wait, doesn't it work the other way around? Shouldn't it be them asking me questions? Yes, but so should you, to make sure it's the right company for you and you want to work there. Oh, I mean, I guess I'd ask how much they are going to pay me. Okay, what else? It's all right, don't worry, the next news is for you. Tim Slade has a brilliant advice on questions you should ask the hiring manager, regardless of your experience. How is the team structured? Who and what does it support within the organization? How does the team manage projects? And what's the scope of ownership for any particular project in this role? What's the quality of learning and training experiences you are creating now and what quality you hope to achieve? Can you show me examples? See why you need answers to these questions in Tim's post and ace that interview like a pro. All right, now we have the biggest news for L&D professionals. The 2023 Learning Trends Report is here and it provides multiple insights, research findings, and the hottest trends shaping the learning and development landscape. Get ready to take your training to the next level. Last but not least, we've got a treat for all you e-learning developers out there. We've released iSpring Course Portfolio, the first portfolio platform designed specifically for instructional designers and e-learning developers. It's integrated into iSpring Suite and empowers you to easily create an ID portfolio that stands out. Simply upload your courses, add info about yourself, and send the link to potential clients. They'll be able to contact you directly from your portfolio. Isn't that awesome? By the way, if you want to learn how to create an ID portfolio from scratch and see great examples, download our free in-depth guide. The link's in the description. That's a wrap on today's episode of Good Morning eLearning. We hope you enjoyed the news and trends we brought to your screens. Like, subscribe, and share the eLearning love to keep this community thriving. Stay tuned for the next episode. Oh, and before we go, we've got some fantastic news. We've launched our eLearning newsletter on LinkedIn. We'll get exclusive content, expert interviews, and more. Be sure to subscribe to stay in the eLearning loop. See you soon.